hey welcome to my channel angel says art nice to see you i want to first say thank you to all of my new subscribers i'm really trying to beat this algorithm and really get my art messages out there because art is what i am truly passionate about and i want to have tough conversations and i want to do it in a very loving and creative way because being an art artist is chaotic and being an artist is <sighs> fulfilling but it is demanding so thank you to everybody who has subscribed to me my goal is to reach a thousand followers i'd like to say i was going to reach that by the end of 2024 but i don't think that i'm going to and that's okay it's all right i'm just going to put it on my vision board for 2025 and i'm actually really excited about this so side note i have another channel it's called angel says life where i'm doing a lot of music reactions and other types of things over there uh, because music is my other passion and so is dan i wanted to try to do something here that kind of mirrors what i'm doing on my other channel but make it art. I think I'm going to react to a well-established artist who has a lot of followers, who is a bit controversial. I don't think he is. Uh, and he says really what's on his mind. His name is David Cho, C-H-O-E. Um, he showed up on my feed for my YouTube channel and then I got addicted to him. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know about him before I saw, um, I saw a YouTube short of his. And then... Mourn your parents. You mean for real? No, not for real. I'm saying in your mind, mourn your parents. And now you can move on with your life. You're welcome. Just saved you thousands of dollars of therapy. And then I found a video that I think I want to react to with you guys. Okay, the video is called How to Be a Delusional Artist. So I'm really into this message. I just got finished filming a video that kind of talks about this. Let's watch this because <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be good. Just the thumbnail. I mean, his artwork is out there, but in such a good way. So let's get into it. A lot of you uh, reach out to me and ask me for a free painting or they ask to trade with me and either I don't reply or my answer is no. Why you think you're better than me? Uh, you think your art? Well, I don't think I'm better than you, but I, I know that my art's better than yours. Wow, that's pretty arrogant. That's pretty cocky. So I bet this is the part now where you're going to tell me why my art sucks? Yeah, it is. The reason why your art's not good is because you're a coward. And you're scared. And I'm telling you today, full permission to be a coward and scared at every other place in your life. Be scared at work, be scared at school, be scared of your parents, be scared of authority. But when it comes to your art, I want you to be fearless today. Absolutely, I, I know you're gonna be scared at one point. You're like, oh, I, I'm not good at taking this shot. I'm not good at this sewing thing. I'm not good at turning this clay. I, whatever it is, whether it's blowing glass or taking a leap, jumping, I'm asking you to take that leap today and don't be scared in that one area of your life. You know why your art sucks? Because you haven't surrendered yet. You haven't surrendered to the page. When you, when you, when you look at the page, that, that, that white space, this is a portal into another universe, another dimension. You can express fearlessly here and yet you don't. You, you're, you're holding back. When you hold back, that makes your art suck. And the reason why your art sucks is because you're holding back and I'm giving you permission to let go today. Express yourself fearlessly. You're on this page, this blank portal, this white, vast nothing. And anything you do, any mark you make, anything you write, anything you do to express yourself will take you to another place. So without judging on a dark and stormy night, it doesn't matter. Express yourself fearlessly and you will become. Which brings me to the next thing. You'll see. You'll see one day. One day you'll see. I'll see what one day? A lot of you, including myself, I put myself in this, have this impression of making it. I'm gonna make it one day. Are you doing air quotes? Yeah, I'm doing air quotes right now. One day I'm gonna make it and then you'll see. Oh, will I? Will I see? 
<laughs> cue the cue the uh, leaf blower. I'm gonna make it one day, and then I'll show you, and I'll show the world, and I'll show everybody that I made it. Oh, will I? Will I see? So a lot of you know about my Facebook story, and I am I'm friends with some of the most richest, most powerful, famous, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And they made it. Did it bring any peace? Or is it enough? Are they enough? So you already know that that's not the answer. It is like, well, is having a little bit of money? Can you buy some food, clothes, and shelter? Yeah, of course. But at some point, and it's a pretty low number, it's not going to add anything extra to your life. Materialism is not the answer. More, the answer is inside you. All the yes, yes, it's true. <laughs> the answer is not outside of you. The new car, the new girlfriend, the new boyfriend, the new toys, the new—it's not. That is a fleeting happiness. It, it, you you feel the joy when you open the eBay package, and then it, it's gone. So sustained joy, sustained peace. When I make it one day in the future, it starts now. Now. Present, today. You made it. I'm going to make it one day. No, you made it. Now. Right now. You watching this right now. You made it. It's right now. It's not on your phone. It's not on your computer. It's not this. It's not that. It's not this promotion. You made it. Once you start understanding that everything that you have already in your life, your health, your, 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 who you are, your personality, all these things, and you're grateful for those things, then it's enough. Then you already have the answer. Oh, you're always telling me to put my phone down and take a social media break. You can't hear yourself think. If you live in a concrete jungle, if you look in the city, if you live in the city, then you can never hear yourself think because it's advertising, billboards. It's just oppressive. It's just onslaught, onslaught, onslaught. You ever talk to a plant? You ever talk to an animal? You ever talk to a little shmoobie? You ever talk to a baby? You don't think babies understand what you're saying? You don't think animals understand what you're saying? You don't think they operate off intuition? Feelings. You talking about telepathy right now? There's an artist, Herbert Baglio, one of the greatest artists in the world. I met him before I met him. Well, what are you talking about? He lives in Brazil. He lives in Brazil. How would I meet him? And then a week later, somehow I meet him and we're sleeping in the same hotel room in Paris. Right? I met Jim Lee before I met Jim Lee, one of my favorite artists, and now that guy's my homie. You don't think I met these people before I met them? Some of you, oh my God, I was just thinking about you and I just ran into you today. You think that just happened? If you could put things down and meditate and pray and connect to yourself and what's happening and be present, then you can speak to people. Why don't you try it before you start put, turning your nose up and, and making fun of it? Why don't you try it? Why don't you telepathically try to connect with me, yourself, your inner child, your parent that you, that's dead? Why don't you talk to your plant, your animal, someone that you haven't talked to in years without using a phone, without writing a letter? Why don't you psionically, telepathically use astral projection? You don't believe in it? Cool. Do it anyways. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. Everything sucks. Yes, everything does suck. But how about... You lean into the delusional. How about you become an unrealistic, optimistic, delusional artist, right? Best case scenario, best case scenario. Oh yeah, climate change, yeah, it's all happening. We're gonna blow each other up, the, we're gonna burn to death, we're gonna start, it's all happening, but let's stay in the delusional state. Let's become agents of love and chaos in a positive sense. Let's become unrealistic you're being unrealistic right now optimistic best case scenario delusional artists okay let's project best case scenario and then and by using telepathy 
I met my wife before I met my wife. I met my children before they were even born. You, you send these messages of what you want to manifest in your life, and you make these connections, and then you meet people when you say stuff like, I felt like I met you before. And I go to, uh, when I'm not being unrealistically optimistic, I go, oh, that's racist. Do you think we all Asians look alike? No, 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 no. I feel like I've met you before. I feel like we've met in a dream or another lifetime. And I say to you, yes, we have. There's no accidents. Try to connect me with me through other things besides words. Connect me, connect with me through dreams, through gazing, through, through eye contact, through telepathy, through, through psionics, through dreams. Thank you, David Cho. I mean, this is... <laughs> I'm actually really glad I did this today. Shout out to you, David. I don't know if you'll ever in your life see this, but this is actually pretty amazing. Instant fan, instant subscriber to his channel from me, for sure. I want to go to some of the comments. Let's see. Um, basically, there are artists in these comments. Let's just keep it real. Who else is going to watch this? Uh, yo, I'm about to embark in my artistic journey. David, you're the art teacher mentor that would be tragically fired because you stray from the script. I appreciate that you are here. I agree with this. I tele... <laughs> I telepathically fuck with this video. <laughs> you don't believe in it? Cool. Do it anyways. <laughs> That really is the way forward. If one wants change, then you have to change your mind. Agreed. I agreed because I'm here to tell you, like I'm living proof of that. Express yourself fearlessly and you will become. People who suck will drag you down. So don't hang out with people who suck. Agreed. How does this not have 10 million views? I often say to create is to choose. Become literally insane, delusional in a positive way that brings your desires to pass. Yes. Okay, I love reading comments. I do it on my other channel because it's just so funny, but let's talk about David. I feel like he's my friend. I feel like we're kindred spirits, so I feel like we're on a first name basis. David is amazing. There is so much substance in what he's saying. There's a freedom in what he's saying that is just so inspiring to me. The really, I don't give a fuck is so, um, something that I my soul has always needed and he's doing that and I fucking love it I love that he's saying just throw it all in the toilet and just be I felt attacked positive way okay because I am that person trying to be all the answer is inside you because it is but it's like the journey to get there is not easy for most of us I know he has another video about how trauma cre creates the artist and like I'm very interested in that because trauma created this artist, okay? But without processing my own trauma, I was not able to become the artist that I am today, right? So my video, Get Out of Your Own Way, is kind of about, is my story, kind of reaching this conclusion for myself as an artist. Well, let me know if you vibe with this kind of situation with me doing reactions to other artists please be sure to give my other videos a chance a lot of them are kind of uh, aesthetically pleasing stuff that you could put on in the background I try to make sure that a lot of it is something that you could use as background noise or really kind of like listen to when you're doing your own art again thank you to everybody who's already subscribed please engage with me down below in the comments I'll leave a link to my Angel Says Life channel for my reactions and all the other stuff that I do if you want to check me out over there. I'm also going to leave a link in the description for my link tree, which has all of my Angel Says Art socials, including my Etsy store. I got some really cool stuff going on in there because I am getting traffic over there and I appreciate you. Even if you're just there to look, the algorithm on Etsy picks me up and I'm thankful. Until next time, peace.